Hey guys, it's Alexis Nadine here, and today I'm going to be doing a story time Q&A and haul all in one video, so sorry if this video is a little longer than normal, about me breaking my forearm, and I broke both the bones in it, which are the radius and ulna. So I asked you guys on my Instagram and Musical.ly to ask me some questions, and I'm going to try to answer them to the best of my ability. So, let's get started. So I promised you guys, if you asked me a question, I'd put your username up on screen. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to kind of mix and match from Instagram and Musical.ly because a lot of the questions were very similar. So the first question, which was the most requested question, which that is a tongue twister, by the way, was how did you possibly break your arm? So I'm going to get into that right now. So the day I broke my arm was Wednesday, June 22nd, 2016, and I had my horse lessons, and we were preparing for the fair, our local fair this summer, and we were doing so well, and I th I'm like, this is our best lesson so far. He was listening, and everything was going great, and then we started doing cantering. We did one circle, like, so the arena had two circles, and then there's one big one. And we are in one of the little circles cantering. I mean, they're not little, but they're a decent size, but they're not as big as, like, the big thing. But we were doing good on one side. He was doing good. And he tends to start drifting off sometimes, so I kept bringing him back in and then we switched to the other side and he started drifting off and going towards the fence and this all happened so fast so I couldn't really re react to it very well but he came up to the fence and he kind of maybe he got some by B I don't know maybe he stepped on something because he who knows what happened but he spooked and like jumped to the side and so Another short story to kind of explain this better. I did check my cinch and I was wearing a helmet, so always make sure you do that if you're riding a horse or riding a four-wheeler or a motorcycle or anything like that. So I just got him like a couple months ago in March, so it wasn't that long ago, and I had to get like new tack and stuff because I've never had a horse before, like had my own. I just recently got a new saddle and stuff and it fit him really well, but my saddle pad was a little bit too thick for the shape of the saddle. So um, my riding instructor wanted me to get a thin one. We were looking, but we didn't find anything at the moment. But my thick one made the saddle slip a tiny bit. It wasn't bad, and I was able to ride in it before. But it just slipped a tiny bit every time, like, he turn did a sharp turn or something. Like, we did barrels sometimes and stuff like that. But he jumped to the side, which made the saddle slip to the other side. And... I tried grabbing onto the horn, and if you don't know what the horn of the saddle, this is what it is. So that's the horn, so I grabbed onto that with both of my hands, and we kind of, I flew off, like, I, I don't even know, it was like a blink of a night, it happened so fast, and I must have braced myself with this arm. Okay, so if you don't want to listen to this part, you don't have to, it's not gory or anything, but it's a little bit gross to think about. My arm, where it's broken, it was like broken right in the middle. Um, it was like bent up there. Like my arm was bent up, like kind of like that. And I like pushed it back down. And like my arm, when I pushed it back down, it was like in an S. It wasn't like a very distinctive S, but it was like in an S shape. Luckily, I was wearing a helmet and I didn't ha hit the fence because something worse definitely could have happened. So we rushed to the hospital. Skipper, my horse, was fine, thankfully, because I would die if something bad happened to him and I know for a fact he didn't do it on purpose because he is such a like laid-back horse and he's younger so he probably could have spooked at something easier so we're not quite sure what happened but I know he didn't do it to be mean or anything like that so I'm still gonna keep riding and we got to the hospital and everything was fine so that's how it happens and now I'm gonna answer the next question next one was when was your surgery or like when is your surgery they didn't know if i had it or not my surgery was the next day so we were at the hospital and we kind of got like a kind of thing like this on it's not a cast but it's like squishier and then we went home that night i wasn't supposed to eat after midnight so it was probably a good over 12 hours probably the pain medicine i had you were supposed to eat food with it Otherwise, you would get an upset stomach, and I obviously obviously couldn't eat food. I got sick, and I was, like, throwing up. Having a broken arm, that really hurt. 
and being sick. I wasn't like contagious sick. It was from my pain medicine. And we went to the another hospital, a bigger hospital. We got together with my main surgeon. We like figured out what we were, I was going to have surgery on, which I had to get like these metal plates and like screws like, to fix my bones. Otherwise, he wasn't sure if it was going to heal properly. So we had to do that. I had to have it cut open in two spots. The surgery went really well. And that's another question people ask. Next one was, were you scared to go into surgery? I think anyone would get nervous to go into surgery, plus I have never had a surgery before, so I didn't know what to expect. Next one was, this was another highly requested one, which is, have you broken any other bones in your body? And if so, what bones did you break and like how did you break them? So I've broken many bones before and I broke my wrist, my left hand wrist. Again, I tripped and fell and braced myself. I broke like my femur, but like at the end towards my knee, I was running down a hill with Crocs on when I was like, I think it was first grade at my grandparents' house and they have a steep hill. As I was running so fast, you kind of like start slipping and I must have like jammed it or something. And then I broke two bones in my left foot and that was a chair fell on my foot when I was like in kindergarten. I broke in my two toes. Our like sidewalk was like up a little bit at a place and I like tripped and then I broke in this finger this one and this one I, we were going swimming and I was like on the floor and I like stood up and it like bent backwards we were it was before one of my traveling soccer games we were got there early and we were kind of fooling around not being serious about it I'm not a goalie I will never be a goalie it's too scary for me one of my friends kicked the ball and I like blocked it like that my middle finger like broke and it really hurt to play soccer game with it. Another highly requested one which was on a scale of 1 to 10 how bad did it hurt? So when I first broke it it was probably like a 9 or a 10 it hurt really bad. Another one was do you think you'll be scared to ride again? I think I'll be a little nervous but I'm going to ride again. I'll probably take it slow at first and just not go super duper fast. What arm did you break your left or right? I broke my left arm. Next one was, who was there with you? And I'm assuming they're asking who was who is with you when you broke your arm. My riding instructor was there. My grandma and sister and my dog was in there too. Another highly requested one was, can you still play soccer and gymnastics and swimming? Since I got the surgery, I don't have to wear a cast. And this isn't like, I mean, it's hard at some places, but I mean, it's not like cast hard. So I get this off for like one week. I had to have this on for two weeks, so they're going to take the stitches off. Then I have another week before I can, like, swim again. Time is going to tell when I'm going to be able to play soccer and gymnastics and ride again. Hoping soon. Another one was, were the doctors slash surgeons nice to you? If so, can you remember the things that they said? Yes, every doctor and nurse that I met was really nice. My dad told me that this the head surgeon was talking to him, and he said, I don't like that I have that I would have to go through this, like break it and stuff, but he likes operating on people with strong bones, so I'm glad that my bones are strong. So I'm scanning through all the comments, and I think I got the majority of them. So thank you guys so much for all the comments. So the thing I got the most of were cards. Okay, now I'm going to show you the candies that I got. Reese's Pieces, Sour Patch Kids, Berry Berry's Trolley Sour Bite Crawlers, which are basically gummy worms, Rainbow Nerds, Haribo Gold Bears, which are gummy bears, Skittles, Keen Size Reese's Sticks, Keen Size Twizzler Twists, Sour Patch Kids number 2, Classic M&M's, Dairy Queen Dilly Bars. This isn't technically candy, but I think it's just as good as candy. Popcorn. Now I'm going to show you some of the other things I got. 24 pack of colored pencils. 12 pack of colored double pointed pencils. Metallic markers. An iTunes card. A local farm shop gift card. A hand lettering ledger book. A magical garden coloring book. A Zen Doodle coloring uplifting inspirations book. A thoroughbred breed. Latch hook crochet kit and a teddy bear I decided to name Talk T O C. Those are the initials of my head surgeon. During my surgery, the doctors made him a cast and they put him in like this little mask. So this is what his face looks like, and I think he's really cute. And he is the softest thing. A huge kissy emoji beanbag. 
balloons. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It'll support me and help me make more videos. And subscribe down below. It'll be greatly appreciated. And that means I can make more videos. Please comment down below any questions you may have. And some video ideas. I really need them. Also, right there in the corner right now, an I button will pop up. Please click that and I'm going to have a poll that you can vote for my next video. I spent a lot of time editing this video and I hope you enjoyed. So recently I made a new profile picture, banner, and a kind of new logo kind of thing. I hope you guys like them and I made a new end screen and intro and outro. You guys should totally go check out my grandma's shop because she's the one that helped me make them and she's really good at that kind of stuff. So it'll be in the link down below. You should totally go check it out and I think you guys will really like it. Also popping up on screen right now are my x-rays before and after. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!